For this session, we'd like to talk a little bit about the benefits, the hard quantifiable monetary benefits of uh, putting in a wireless gauge reader or wireless transducer reader type of solution. Now, as we discussed earlier in our demo, um, it's clear that there's uh, many factories, old sites, old buildings with a lot of legacy gauges that people spend a lot of time monitoring manually. Why don't they change them out for with transducers and, and get the data uh, automatically rather than spend the manpower? And the reason that we hear again and again from uh, customers is really that this, uh, the solutions that are available today uh, costs way too much and cause uh, too much disruption. Cost in terms of uh, once you break the seal, you have to put in a new transducer, you need to check leaks, you need to run wires, uh, you have to create the drawings to document the wiring to get the approvals, um, you have to buy new I.O. termination, new analog input cards, uh, you need to revalidate the system for compliance and safety, and last but not least, um, you often have to stop the process or the production uh, to, in order to install them. And often what it means is that all this uh, disruptive, intrusive type of activity uh, ends up costing uh, $4,000 to $6,000 to retrofit an old point to add uh, new transducers and new wiring and so on. So our solution is to avoid all of that as a non-intrusive reader, just mounts on top of an existing gauge and then gives you pretty much all the benefits uh, brings you almost up to speed with a wired transducer up to modern day with a, a fraction of the hassle at a fraction of the overall cost. So hopefully you've already seen the, the demo video that shows you how this is done with the gauge reader but you can see that with our solution uh, there really is no breaking seals, no leak check, uh, it's wireless so you don't have to run the wires, there's no wiring diagrams or drawings that you need to create and approve uh, there's no I.O. termination, no I.O. cards, because this uh, wireless goes right into a receiver or server. And uh, it doesn't affect existing validation because it doesn't break any seals and it doesn't create any, introduce any uh, foreign material or new materials in, into your existing system. And finally, uh, there's no process impact because it, it is non-invasive. Your existing system, uh, your existing process continues to run as is and production is uninterrupted. So the net impact of all of this is that the Cypress system solution ends up costing thousands of dollars less and a fraction of the cost of a traditional wired uh, transducer. Uh, our target is uh, per point uh, to be under $1,500 per point fully installed, including all software, all labor, all the hardware and uh, servers, repeaters, and wireless system. And that compares to a traditional uh, transducer solution where for each legacy point uh, you'd be typically looking at $4,000 to $6,000. A lot of it taken up by things like the cost of the sensor and transducer, the cost of the installation, the running into wires, design, the, the wiring diagram, the approval of the drawings, uh, the code compliance to bring it up to current safety, fire, or FDA regulations for food and drug, uh, I.O. panel termination for I.O. cards, and, and last but not least, uh, process downtime. So you're looking at uh, you know, a, a, the type of Cypress system solution costing about $1,500 per point compared with $4,000 to $6,000 per point for a traditional wired system. Now, once the system is installed, um, our customers so far has found uh, quite a few quantifiable benefits result in uh, hard dollar savings. Uh, the benefits are in different classes. They could range from uh, reducing costs from excursions and unavoidable downtime for facilities. Basically, you get better handle on what your equipment, your assets are doing so you can uh, avoid the shutdown, uh, not get caught by surprise. Certainly reduce the labor to perform rounds, go around reading gauges or transducers. Uh, can re reduce the cost of energy audits and troubleshooting where many factories have a target to reduce energy consumption by say 6% or 10%, but it costs a boatload of money just to instrument the site uh, before you get the baseline to know where to go save money. Well, this kind of system can lower those costs dramatically and provide a uh, modular and, and temporary solution where you can just clip on readers and get a good baseline. Uh, you could uh, reduce the cost of consumables, things like processed gases, things like water. Once you know where you're spending them, once you know where you're consuming them, you could manage them better. And again, uh, this uh, type of system is uh, non-invasive, so it's really uh, great for putting into uh, systems that uh, 
can't you really want to avoid revalidation to get these benefits to get the payback and uh, again you, it, this system will connect to just about uh, any existing system that's a building management system building automation industrial automation so you have minimal retraining of people uh, virtually no new software investment and uh, just a really minimal cost and disruption so let me give you some examples of how some real customers have uh, implemented the system to save uh, real dollars. This example is uh, from Micro Semiconductor. They're based in San Jose uh, and they're semiconductor fab. And uh, we, for them, we focused on the gas management uh, area, these uh, looking at gas cylinders. Uh, Micro has uh, about 280 gas cylinders on site. And for each of these, they uh, monitor them uh, twice uh, per day, once per shift, uh, so it's about three to four hours per shift, two times a day, about uh, you know six, six to eight hours per day, almost one full-time equivalent person, and it's uh, definitely skilled labor that uh, they feel they could put to better use. Uh, also, uh, even when they have these people monitoring the gas bottles uh, regularly, they they have downtime. There was this one day in uh, in January where it was fairly cold, and uh, one of the uh, gas bottles that were outside in a gas pad had condensation of the gases, lost vapor pressure, and that meant that the tool that it was feeding lost vapor pressure, and there was all kinds of yield problems and the cost process disruption, very, very costly. Uh, and, and so the third area is that uh, when they monitor these uh, cylinders manually, um, the, the operators are so concerned about running out of uh, gas that they frequently swap out the bottle before it's empty, even when it's a third full or, or more. And uh, there's obviously gases that could be, could, could, uh, be saved if uh, they weren't switched out so soon. Um, Micro put in the wireless gauge reader system and uh, they were able to save about one full-time person equivalent uh, avoiding the, the rounds, uh, manual rounds. They were able to save on the unavoidable downtime. They caught errors and saved about $5,000 per incident or somewhere close to around $80,000 per year. And uh, they also uh, were able to reduce the gas consumption as they were able to trend and run the gas bottles down lower. Uh, annual savings was in the $215,000 range and the uh, payback on this investment was uh, less than seven months. And another example from another customer was facilities monitoring. Uh, again, uh, monitoring uh, equipment health like pumps, uh, like uh, air handler units, coolant loops, and so on. Uh, again, once save uh, skilled labor for doing manual rounds. Uh, second, save energy. Um, they monitored their compressed air usage and made sure that uh, the compressor was not on or overpressured more than was required. Uh, it looked at uh, exhaust uh, systems, uh, venting systems, made sure that the airflow was not uh, any more than was necessary, which consumes uh, quite a bit of energy. Uh, payback on this system was, again, less than six months. And here's another example with, uh, again, a semiconductor fab. Uh, this is a CMP machine, a rather older one from the late 80s, early 90s. Not a lot of data coming out of this machine, but uh, constantly the operator struggled with uh, having yield and quality problems. Found out that this was really due to a uh, filter getting plugged, uh, but they had no visibility to this. So we helped this customer monitor their uh, filter, the delta P across the filter. And then instead of uh, plugging up in about two weeks as they had expected, filter actually plugged up in uh, less than half a day. So we put in alarming, it notified their cell phones, uh, and they went in, replaced the filters, avoided downtime, and payback here was uh, less than one week. So there are many more examples of this uh, with our customers mounting uh, uh, the, our system on numerous systems like uh, process cooling water, DI water loops, uh, waste treatment, uh, circulation pumps, and also on water softeners, uh, domestic water supply, uh, HVAC units, boilers, uh, chillers, air handler units, and so on. We actually have quite a library of applications, and uh, I invite you to visit our website at uh, www.cypress.com systems and take a look at more applications that we have in our library. And two of our customers, uh, Novellus and, and Stanford, have actually offered to give uh, tours to prospective customers if you'd like to see how our systems are used in a real facility.